how organs work. Relay. This is the brains of an organ. It takes electrical signals from the console, generated whenever keys are depressed, stops, changed, etc., and directs the correct pipes and or keys to sound at the correct time. At the bookstore, 3 p.m., I could curl up at these stalls, tear the pages off some useless, career-minded men mag, and sleep, sleep off these wandering walks down market. Don't even need my map no more, just point my feet east and press onward. I could almost give my body time enough to quiet down, let its pistons oil up inside my bone and blood, but her voice peekaboos inside my temples, commandeers my legs, shifting right, left, fiction, Barbara Kingsolver, the Poison Wood Bible. Tail, Baptist preacher, missionary, Congo, 1950, told in the syllables of his wife and four daughters, so thick and fierce, these words like vapor rub on a sick child. They remind me of Jill, my last modesto friend, how she seemed when we drove in her velvet Nissan. Turtle shell sunglasses looking through a smoggy December. Streams of auburn ponytail hair lapping her neck. I swear she had the spirit of the movie star she never wants to be. She seemed to whirl all the currents of air about her. And our destination? <laughs> Circles, really. Circles around our town, these old and sullied years, an old high school, the street where my dad beat up five guys at a 7-Eleven, self-defense, they went after him first. Her stepdad's floral shop. We had nowhere to go. Reason only to taste each other, linger a while longer in our words. As I pirate the last book reader browser at uniform sofa chair, as I weave my fingers across these pages of women, the mask drops. The cool sureness of what I want to be crumbles. I want to keen right there, gripping the book so tight in my dirty little hands holding on in the middle of borders on the second floor. Her. Oh, her. I want to press her into my bones, taut like the stiff, cool binding I want to wash away the nightmares on her hands, the tears scar in her cheek, the bitter catch her voice makes after she laughs. I want her to be flagrant with her art. She is an actress truer than I could ever be, this simple urchin hawking spit and tricks. I want to be the genesis of her deep, deep breath. Book costs fourteen ninety nine. Dribbles of nickels, pennies, dimes. This moment of seller customer trembles me. Uh, the claws, claws, stammers. I warble while I ferret out change in the flat, poisonous glare of the clerk who has a mile of re retail smiles left to hurl before he can return to a sublet or a leaking roof, dreaming of Nietzsche and porn. The German Dionysus spearing his way through brothelry. Out into the rain. Shopping bag rustles my fingers as I walk. A mutter, no. Even less than that escapes. But the rain swallows all sound, all light.